Have you ever wondered how many blades of grass are found in your yard or around your home? Have you ever wondered how many weeds are there rather than grass? For many years, scientists have tried to determine the number of plants and animals that live in a certain area. Can you imagine going around and counting every single blade of grass in your community? Or imagine going around and counting the amount of grass on the face of the earth? That would be an impossible task. To answer these kinds of questions, scientists have created an accurate method for estimating a population. This method is called sampling. Sampling involves counting a representative fraction of a population and making a prediction of the whole population. When using a sampling method to estimate, you don't need to count each individual to find the total number. The quadrat is a common sampling method used in biology. Quadrats are small identical size plots which are randomly placed over a study site to measure a sample size. In this experiment, we will be making a simple quadrat using items you can find at home, and then we will show how exactly you can estimate the population of a species using data gathered from a quadrat. The items needed for this lab are cardboard, rope, scissors, and glue. We start by cutting four pieces of cardboard to about 20 inches in length and three inches in width. Using a sharp object, you bore holes in the cardboard about three inches apart. Using the ropes, tie the ends of the cardboard to form a square shape. Then, tie the rope vertically and horizontally across the square to form a grid. Now let's see how you can use the quadrat. You can go anywhere in your yard and randomly throw the quadrat on the ground. Then you can count the amount of organisms in each small square on the quadrat. Each square is about 7 cm by 7 cm in area. To calculate the estimated population of each organism in this specific area, we use the formula n is equal to big A over little a multiplied by n. Where n is the number of organisms in a specific area, capital A is the size of that specific area, common A is the size of the quadrat squares, and common n is the average number of individuals in the quadrat square. Using our data as an example, the average number of weeds in each complete square is 50, and the size of the area we are analyzing is about 500,000 centimeters squared. The estimated size of each quadrat square is about 14 centimeters squared. Now let's put these values into our equation. Five hundred thousand divided by fourteen is equal to thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fourteen. Thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fourteen multiplied by the number of weeds in each individual square is equal to five hundred and thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fourteen weeds. So in total, there are five hundred and thirty-five thousand seven hundred and fourteen weeds located in our area alone. Let's test if you understand. In the same area, there are approximately 105 grass plants in each quadrat square. Calculate how many grass plants are located in our area. If you did it correctly, you should have gotten 35,714 multiplied by 105, which is equal to 3,749,970 grass plants. Why don't you build a quadrat of your own and calculate the number of plant life living in your yard? Thanks for watching.